Hey guys and welcome to my very first YouTube video. Today I'm going to talk about Legion, the artificial intelligence that caused Judgment Day in the Terminator Dark Fate timeline. In the Dark Fate timeline, a Legion Terminator, model Ref9, was sent back in time to kill the leader of the Future Resistance, Danny Ramos. A modified soldier of the Future Resistance, Grace, was also sent back in time to protect Danny. With the help of the T-800 Terminator Carl from the Terminator 2 movie and the legendary Sarah Connor, they managed to defeat the Ref-9 Terminator. But what exactly is Legion and what happened in the past which led to the events of the Dark Fate Judgment Day? So, Legion is a highly advanced computer program designed for cyber warfare, deployed with an artificial intelligence. It was developed for military purposes as a cyber security system. It was not mentioned which country exactly developed Legion, but it can be suggested that it was one of the world's superpowers like the USA, Russia or China. Probably the USA, like in the earlier Terminator movies. Legion's main use was to gain advantage in military conflicts. This includes hacking into enemy control systems, disrupting communications and disabling their weapon systems. It was also designed to optimize combat strategies, coordinate troops and control own weapon systems. In addition, it was able to predict and detect potential terrorist activities. With new gathered data feed, it can continuously develop new war strategies and run simulations to predict the enemy's next moves. In the movie, Danny asks Grace what will happen if their mission fails and they can't stop Legion. Grace told her what happened in her future. On day one, Legion started a cyber war against the entire humanity. Legion linked its mainframe to the internet. Once linked to the internet, Legion managed to connect itself to the worldwide civilian sector network. Legion's main objective was to shut off humanity's connection to important key resources. Grace explained that it shut down the power grids of entire cities, leaving them in the dark. There was no longer access to telephones, electricity or internet. Legion managed to lock people out of the internet, but still stay inside itself. Unlike Skynet, which used a centralized mainframe controlling its operations, Legion used a decentralized network construct. The internet was Legion's main access to shut down all computerized systems in an instant. Power grids, communication networks, power plants, air traffic controls, stock market and much more. Even cars stopped working and flying planes crashed. On day 2, the world governments responded by attempting to use tactically placed EMP strikes by using nuclear EMP weapons in order to contain Legion. For those who don't know what an EMP is, an EMP is an electromagnetic pulse, a short and intense release of electromagnetic energy. This powerful electromagnetic pulse is able to destroy or disrupt all electronic devices and systems within its range. Household electricity, vehicles, power grids, critical infrastructures and generally anything that is dependent on electricity. In the movie Godzilla 2014, there is a monster called Mudo, which is able to use such an EMP strike as its weapon. How does a nuclear EMP strike actually work? A nuclear bomb designed for EMP purposes is detonated in the atmosphere. Such an explosion releases large amounts of electromagnetic energy, which spreads in the form of a pulsed electromagnetic field. The bomb is typically detonated at a high altitude above the Earth's surface in order to achieve the greatest possible range for the EMP effect. As soon as this electromagnetic pulse reaches the ground, all the electricity is gone. Unlike standard nuclear weapons, nuclear EMP weapons are designed in such a way that the nuclear fallout does not affect the people on the ground and the detonation is more concentrated on the EMP blast itself. The idea behind using nuclear EMP strikes was to disable Legion's network systems and try to take them back under control. Goal was to disrupt Legion's infrastructures and communication systems, neutralizing its ability to control machines, rendering it powerless and finally make it unable to continue its operations. Unlike Skynet, Legion was not dependent on a central core. Skynet had a centralized mainframe controlling its operations. With this central core shut down, Skynet would be disabled. Colorado units reporting in. Skynet central core is down. Repeat, Skynet has been destroyed. 
Legion, in contrast, had no central core, or at least a single central point it was dependent on, which made it even harder for the humans to neutralize it. While no specific targets of DMP strikes were mentioned in the movie, it can be suggested that the militaries let the bombs explode over key facilities, installations, command centers and other critical infrastructures Legion brought under its control in order to disable it. Grace explained that on the third day the entire world was at war. She didn't mean that the world was at war with each other, but rather united in a war against Legion. Since Legion was spreading rapidly all over the world, countries put aside their differences and worked together in order to stop Legion. There was a global collaboration and joint military actions with the aim of defeating the AI and reclaiming control over the world again. It demonstrates that despite of differences, humans can unite when confronted with a greater threat. However, all efforts were unsuccessful and the humans were not able to stop Legion. Over time it came to the collapse of the modern civilization. The blackout paralyzed the entire world, which was entirely dependent on electricity. Governments were unable to communicate with each other. Producing food and supplies was no longer possible. The global food and transport networks were destroyed, resulting in mass famine. Millions of people died. The world governments were no longer able to handle the situation and began to collapse. After the fall of the governments, people were forced to take care of themselves. The people who survived began to fight over the remaining food and resources, killing each other, fighting for their survival. Legion saw its chance to kill the remaining humans and created its own army with Rev-9 Terminators and own vehicles. In the future, Danny, however, managed to bring the surviving humans all together and formed a resistance against Legion and its army. Like Skynet, Legion also gained control over military and defense systems and caused the nuclear holocaust, creating the Judgment Day. Even though Legion's nuclear strikes were never shown in the movie, it is obvious that nuclear attacks took place when you just check out the environment, how the world looks like in Grace Memories in 2042. The reason why Legion caused Judgment Day and started a war against humanity was never explored in the movie. However, it can be suggested that Legion, like Skynet, considered mankind as a threat to its existence. So thank you guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!